So today's insane project is something that uh, just sort of came up. Um, this is what happens when you take Ambien and then have weird thoughts. I decided to see if I could take a series of images and remap them into 3D space to rebuild a model of the original thing. Now, a lot of people have been doing that with sort of hyperlapses and that sort of thing. I wanted to start on a much smaller scale. So what you see here is a video that I shot last night of basically circling a book, the latest uh, THW War Games book, and uh, it uh, just sort of ends up being rather cool, um, but, you know, boring and a little shaky. So I ran it through some software called Visual SFM, as you can see. Uh, not quite as shaky. This line along the top, it represents each of the camera positions that I took while that was uh, being shot. Um, that's after I processed the video into a series of 205 separate frames. What you see there is 205 separate frames, and then that image data remapped to being a sort of sparse dot network over here and and you can kind of make out what it was right that's that's pretty sensible and straightforward so far but then we switch over to dense 3d points and you see the, the cameras don't change much but you can start making out what it was that we were circling around and definitely get a view on some of these dice uh distorted by the fact that they only had a couple of positions of data but you know that's pretty darn keen. That you can do that at all is pretty awesome. And as you can imagine, if you were to do this with, I don't know, 500, 600 images of an outside area, or even it suggests that you can do it with only a couple of images, stereo broadcasting, that, uh, that would be an interesting rebuild. So I'm probably going to tinker with that a little bit, see what I can do. What I really want to do is be able to make some sort of 3D reconstruction you can fly through given just a few images. So yeah, that's just, this is what I do when I get high right before bed and think about stuff. Uh, you know what? I, I challenge you to come up with your own kind of madness and, and learn about things. All of this, incidentally, aside from my little bit of After Effects to separate the frames of the video, was all done with free software. Right, go ahead and check out Virtual SFM and uh, a couple of the other things over here. Uh, yes, Duka Furukawa's CW, CMVS tool. And uh, see what you, you know, who knows? Who knows what you might discover? You might discover that you have a new calling in life. Pretty unlikely to happen. All right, just sharing the madness and the weirdness. This is the Squid Lord wandering off to do something else that's probably less weird. Bye!